I'm a pretty lucky man. I must say, I really feel that I'm a very lucky man because I found something that is very special for me. And I haven't accomplished it so far, but I'm on a journey. And that's what matters for me. And that's why I feel that I can create something that I can be very, very proud of. And I'm just a normal person who really found something that I truly believe. And what is very important for me is that I have, I have some people that I really love and I can share my story with them as well. So yes, I'm a professional fighter, but it was not laying in my cards that I was supposed to be uh, traveling around in the world. And if you look at me, many would maybe think I did something else. <laughs> because um, yeah, I like uh, the word. You can. I don't remember. It's something with the book. You can. Uh, thank you, thank you. And that's exactly what I like to to show. And we all have it in us. We all have our inner power, and uh, we have something where we can feel that we really can grow and put in our power in a positive way where we really gonna be the person that we want to be. And when I was 13 years old, I found the love of my life. Uh, I didn't know it. Well, I did know it. Because today we have three kids together. And uh, at that time it was totally insane that we was a couple. We were, she were fighting her demons and, and I was just this teenager who didn't know what way to go. So uh, it was pretty, pretty crazy when uh, we were supposed to have our first kid. We found out when uh, I was 21, when I got my first one. And uh, we found out when she was uh, three months pregnant. And that was like a total change for, for us. It was, well, she excused that she would keep the baby. And I was like, I'm not going to have a a, 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 a born child and I'm, I'm, I'm not there as a father. I don't, I didn't know what it was, but uh, it was important for me. I didn't know what it would mean at that time, but yeah. But we grew together and in some way, she always supported me in me being the man that, that I really wanted to be, that I needed to get away from, from, uh, from her. And, uh, and even though I love to be together with her, I would, I would not be the man that she deserved or that I could be together if I was only spending my time to serve my wife. And so she knew that no matter what, I would use my time or I would be very great at it. So when I was 17, I started Thai boxing and do you know what that is? Some of you do. It's pretty intense. It's, it's <laughs> where you kick and punch and you only have these three or five rounds where you can do pretty much everything standing up. Uh, and make it difficult for your opponent. And why should uh, a man like me do that? Uh, it's not because I'm attracted to just beat up guys. Because uh, actually, I don't like to hurt people. I really don't. Um, 
but to stand in front of an obstacle and to meet yourself. That's what I really, really like to experience. And to grow in this hard situ situation where you just uh, get the inner dialogue and on one side, yeah. You, you're telling yourself, how, how can I get away from this? It's stupid. What am I doing? And on the other side, you're like, this is the right thing to do. Now show the man that you are. Now is the time to grow and that is the best feeling. I like when Paul said in his speech, we need to struggle a little bit sometimes. And then on the other side, we can see the winning part where we grow as human and really exploit ourselves, grow as man and open up for the potential that we all have. And I do it pretty much, uh, you know, pretty extreme, in an extreme environment where you really, we, you, we put up the fight and now we go and we try to int intimidate each other. And I'm actually pretty good at it um, when, when, when I want to do it uh, because I'm not, I'm not having my warrior mindset all the time. I actually prefer to be more lovable because that is also my biggest strength. And that's where I have my strong family, my wife, especially my wife. She really, really, I don't know, but she knew exactly what I needed to be a happy man. And for many years when I started in my career, I was only thinking about winning, winning, and winning. And no matter what, I couldn't, <laughs> I wasn't happy. But I got the titles, I got the Danish championship, I got the European Championship, I got the World Championship, and I remember one uh, special example when um, I just fought a fight and, and people always came to me after I've, I've been on the stage, they told me and really appreciated what I performed uh, just before when I fought and they are like, wow, such a beautiful fight and you did like this and wow, 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 and I begin to excuse I couldn't take it in because in my mind I was thinking about doing it so perfectly. And of course we can always do it better, but what my wife told me, she put me to the side and, and asked me, why are you doing this? I know it's good for you, but why, why can you not just say thank you? and appreciate the gift that they are trying to give you. And I didn't understand it at, at that time, but she planted a seed that would grow in my future. Actually, when I was at my highest peak in my career, after six years I turned pro, I had many titles, and I just got signed with the biggest promotion in, in the world, Glory Kickboxing. And I was really on my mission. I could see the dream in front of me. I had only one four-man tournament, and then I had to, when I won the four-man tournament, I would get the championship fight. and. What was special with this uh, glory uh, signing, glory kickboxing signing, is that there's many federation, you can have many bells and all this, but this is actually the one place where they put all the world champions together, so now you can say you are the real world champion. And my mindset is only on this. And maybe I forget a little bit about my family, because at that point I also have I actually have two kids at that point, two small kids. But I have a very strong woman, and 
I don't listen so much on what she is telling me. I'm only thinking about my sports career. And suddenly, two weeks before, my biggest preparation, my biggest tournament, I almost lose my leg. But you can see I have it today, so I'm, I'm okay. But I get a staph infection. And I'm out. My dream is over. And I get in my, maybe my biggest crisis so far. I have so far been this strong man, Muay Thai fighter, making results. People come and appreciate what I do. And now I'm nothing. I am a little baby who can lay on the couch and just take pills and do nothing. While my wife is standing with two kids and I feel like shit. But actually this period is the best that I ever have in my life because she didn't love me because I was the Muay Thai fighter, the man. She loved me because I am who I am. But I couldn't take it in unless I accepted that I wasn't going to fight. I was learning how to walk. That was where the warrior should think about getting back and appreciate what I have just in front of me because I was in my cries. I was feeling the, the ones that I really love with shit because I felt bad about myself. And it's, well, it wasn't until I accept that no matter what happens to me, it cannot affect how I am as a person. And that what changed me and helped me getting back in the sport. It took me two years to learn how to walk again. And three years it took me to get back on the biggest stage and fight on glory kickboxing promotion. And this was a new man. I didn't only fight like I used to. I was flying. I was, and it didn't matter if I win or lose, but I was up there and I was grateful because I knew what was important for me and it wasn't all the wins, it was how I turned my life to be the man I want to be today. And when I fight, this is what my family deserve. And I really feel that my strongest power is the woman of my life who always believed in me and gave me the time to grow and develop to the man that I would like to be. Thank you. I don't know what more to say. I, I said it. <laughs> but thank you for listening, and thank you to you, Paul. Uh, you also told it, but we met three weeks ago, and uh, this is also a journey for me. I have never speak in front of so many men <laughs> before. So, and I just before my speech, I got asked why. Well. Uh, do you even get nervous when you, get, when you are used to fighting in front of 30,000 people? Well, I'm not used to speak in front of so many people, and not in English. Uh, my, 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 my preferred language is Danish, so uh, this was a very great challenge. Thank you, Paul. Woo! Let's give Paul an applause. <laughs> okay.
Tschüss.